Okay, uh, my today's video's uh, main uh, objective is to uh, is to actually uh, uh, give you idea that how you can compile the UDF uh, in the Fluent. So uh, you may find out that there are many videos. Even I have the two or three videos on the, my YouTube channel. The same channel you are uh, now watching the video. Same with this video. Uh, but that was like a very like old version of the Fluent and old version of the Visual Studio. So now we have progressed and right now I'm using 2024 release 2 uh, of the Fluent and Ansys. And so it should be also the, the latest version of the Visual Studio. Okay, so the first thing is that you have to install your uh, Ansys. Uh, second thing is that while you are installing the Ansys, the second point is that actually so right click on the setup and run as administrator okay so i already installed everything so i don't need to install anything but I want to tell you because of the so that you can get the complete idea of what should be the installed on your computer along with the, the Visual Studio. Okay, so you have to install like uh, install uh, MPI for Ansys Parallel Processing. Okay, uh, that is that is separate thing, but it will also also be used by the some UDS. Okay, so anyhow, so close it and uh, now go back to the your. Uh, uh, Google Chrome and here you have to click on the uh, Visual Studio. Okay, so I'm going to install the latest one. So you have to simply click on the download Visual Studio. Okay, like this. And if you take a look here, I have already like uh, downloaded them multiple times. So click here. Click on continue. Okay, so here you have to click on the desktop and mobile. Okay. Uh, and uh, you should be careful that we should be getting the uh, Visual Studio. Okay. So most probably this would be the this one. Okay, this is the Visual Studio 2024. 2022 okay it requires 10.15 10.51 10 gb okay so uh, uncheck again and uh, check it okay although uh, in my previous video i have uh, installed the multiple options uh, but here like uh, my previous video uh, but at that time they had the three options okay so i have chosen the two options uh, one was the universal windows platform development and the second one was the <coughs> this option okay uh, but this time i think that uh, this one option should work very well this one okay but if i go with the uh, net devel net desktop development then uh, this has the c plus plus microsoft visual studio yes Microsoft Visual C, C uh, is here. Uh, Visual, Visual Studio 2022 C++. Okay. So I think this would be enough. I think. Okay. So click and install. Now this will take some time. It will be downloading. At the same time it will be installing. So uh, I will come back after installing the everything. Okay. Okay, so you can see that the installation is done. Now simply click on OK. Okay. 
okay let me check the installation where it, it is done okay this is here Okay, so skip. Okay, start the Visual Studio. Okay, meanwhile, I am going to start uh, my case file. Okay, let's try on the actual case. Uh, here I am going to like uh, load the UDF compiled. Okay, so I am not going to use the built-in compiler because this option is very good option. And uh, in case you are not able to like, uh, and and I think this is not there is no need of actually installing the. Uh, with the study but there are some requirements for 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 example or you want to install it anyhow so in that case i'm giving example but you can actually use the built-in compiler that is very good okay so now right now i am uh, unchecking the uh, built-in compiler and uh, this is my udf and let's go and click on the build okay so uh, we were not able to actually successfully uh, use the Visual Studio 2020, uh, 2020, yes, 2022. So uh, I, res I restarted the computer, and I think this is uh, actually uh, whenever you install something to uh, get its effect completely on the Windows system, actually you have to restart the computer. And I hope that this is also true for the Linux system. I, I'm not sure about that thing, but I feel like that. Okay, anyhow. So I'm going to again compile the same UDF. Okay, so add here. Okay, now this time I'm not using the built-in compiler. Okay, so click on the build. So you can see that uh, you can see here the files, UDF names and user dot uh, underscore net uh, nt dot udf is so you can see here that uh, the it is copyright by the ansys and compiler and linker is a microsoft uh, with your c plus plus and the files uh, are the udf names dot c okay uh, so these files are here and uh, so everything is all right okay so now the last step is that is that you have to click on the load Okay, then actually this is the uh, a slip condition uh, uh, UDF that is to apply the slip condition. And now I think uh, it's very easy to understand that the, there is no slip condition means there is a, like a zero velocity on the wall means that is a completely shared state profile uh, will be there. And the slip condition means that the the flow will not make any uh, boundary layer over there. So means the like uh, no zero velocity on the surface. And the velocity will be uniform so slip velocity formula means that this is like a in between no slip and the slip condition so we can change the length, the length parameter and we can approximate the like in between these two conditions to these two extreme conditions so uh, that's applied on the actually the arrow file uh, what we want to see we want to see the sometimes maybe it's uh, like uh, conditions uh, for uh, uh, let's say uh, what I say, uh, for example, the icing simulations. Okay, uh, in that case, this can be like a, a very uh, good approximation that we can use a different length scale to approximate the those conditions there. This is UDF here. This is the surf, uh, the airfoil surface here. So on this surface, actually, I want to apply the UDF. So from boundary conditions, the airfoil. So from the no slip condition, you have to say a specified shear 
and when it's a like a constant value zero value it means that this is like a, a slip condition slip condition means there is a no boundary layer okay so i'm going to apply now these two uh, x and y slip velocities and apply okay so in this way actually uh, we have actually successfully uh, compiled the udf using the visual studio 2022 and uh, its uh, version is 17 okay so in the, my previous video very very like uh, long ago uh, it was like uh, older versions of the ansys and the visual studio so now i thought that i should renew the knowledge and because everybody is now using the newer versions of the visual studio and the uh, ansys so it is uh, like a good time to revise them and then renew the knowledge about the latest uh, options available in the market thank you